Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Tank Master YouTube channel. Today, we are headed to Potown, Poughkeepsie, New York. Kind of sort of my old stomping grounds. Growing up there, going to the Civic Center, watching a lot of, uh, a lot of concerts there. Um, I knew the police real well over there just across the river from Highland where I grew up so um, I had fun when I was young let's just say I had fun so you know little victory I've been I've been claiming this victory for a while now but today you know yesterday was the big day Liberty Bibbity you know I wished I could do it uh, I don't really need to do that though but if I could show you every email I had with the one representative from Liberty Mutual, you would say, wow, that's just disgusting. Uh, how the, the, the relationship went to professional, to snobby, to Mr. Frickin' Know-It-All, to two-week vacation, to sending it off to preferred mutual an oversight company that they paid to try to figure out a denial, then to dealing with their lackadaisical effort, um, and then getting back, and then the Liberty Mutual representative had a baby. He's a guy, but I guess the guys can now take off because their wife's having a baby. I mean, back in the day, wives used to cook breakfast, jump on the kitchen table, have a baby, and then make sure dinner was prepared when the husband got home. Now the husband gets to take off. I kind of baby leave. I don't know. Not putting guys down that do that. If I had the opportunity to do it, I'd do it too, probably. So. But that's just. So, so they, I think they probably paid Preferred Mutual at least $20,000 to assist them to get this nice, good paying customer denial. Well, you know, they ran into Tank Master. So, Mr. Sarcastic, Mr. Know-it-all, Mr. Blah, blah, blah. Well, finally, we got paid. Make a long story short, we got paid. Check came in yesterday. The amount was 59000 They only paid me fifty-seven. That's fine. It, I guess that 2000 kind of justified hiring preferred mutual. Now, can't get in any trouble doing it because everything I'm saying is factual. But that check came in, which is very good because when you own a business... Uh, you live and die with your checking and savings account. I don't care how in control you are of your emotions and you try not to, you know, go zero to 100. You try to keep it right around 40 to 55, but it's hard not to. So, you know, over the last two weeks, we've been rolling around $20,000 in both accounts, you know, and yesterday we got four checks for 80 grand. So... I'm happy today. Uh, but we're heading to Poughkeepsie. Yesterday we were in Yonkers. And now we're in Poughkeepsie. It's got to be 100 miles apart. But that's fine. Every time I go towards that area, um, I feel like it's home. Okay, kids. We've reached our destination here. I went a little bit ahead because we had to go through two potential DOT spots. Everything is smooth. The boys are seven minutes out. You know my favorite parking. It's called the cul-de-sac. Number one. Number two, you know my favorite customer. There's no one here. Killing it. So the pictures we had on this project <clears throat> made it look a little difficult. They said it was up on the hill. To the right side of the door uh, but they weren't that good because this is very easy you can see it right there on the side of the, the hill here and you can see partially out of the out of the ground Piece of cake. Good thing I brought five guys. I thought we were gonna have to muck truck up this hill 
because it was up top there but I'll be able to just sit here clear off the side and roll it out probably it's gonna take 13 or 14 minutes so short video today Let's see if they say my truck's in the way now. I thought this long and hard. Wait for the camera. Move your truck. <laughs> what, you got a problem? <laughs> What's the problem? The problem is... There's no problem. Yeah, there is. Look at that window. See that window? Yeah. Come here. Craig says there's a problem. Oh man. Shit. Okay. Thank you for pointing okay. that out. Okay. It's like over the tank. Yeah, it is. Wow, that just made this boring job interesting, that's all. The Thank you, sir. Tank's already out of the ground. Yeah, yeah I know, but, they, but that runs above it. Look at this. Look That's that. not a big deal. I just well, dig, we'll dig out the bottom. Out. Yeah. Hey, it's more drama for the YouTube folks. <laughs> Can Tank Masters pull it out? Can we pull it out, folks? Is the team good enough? Yeah, we are. Will they make the schedule? Will the inspector approve everything? Will that tree root be in the way? Hey. Yeah, just cut the vent. You know, I'll excavate the top. Where's the septic tank? Do you know? You know where the tank is? The septic yeah, tank? Oh, well, that can't be. It goes, over, uh, goes uphill? The tank. The, uh, the septic. It's, uh, the back. Right, but the line comes out right here. Yeah, you're not a septic guy, huh? All right. Because poop don't go uphill. So, well, actually, what's this platform right here? All right, boss, thank you. Hey, does your poop go uphill? I don't poop. You don't poop? Yeah, I got that problem, too. That's too much information. No, it's not. Help me. Come on, guys. Help me. Give me some, some laxatives. I've we, do. It all. we do, we do. What do we take? Take fiber. It's, it's been 12 days, people, just slamming food in. Stop eating. I poop every day. Yeah, it's good for you. I, I hate those people that poop twice I a see, day. And they're like, what's wrong with you? Dude, this? really? Like, they you eat? Dude, no, dead ass three or four times. Yeah, okay. That goes away. So not enjoy yet. it while it has. Yet, then the metabolism slows down. Oh, yeah. It's already gone. You know, and then you eat a rich cracker and you gain weight. Oh, my metabolism. Right, Sam? I don't know. What do you say this? All right, my shovel is.
Hooray! I'm in. Didn't say Craig. He really is. Craig, chip at that with the shovel now. Like that thing got slammed pretty good. Oh, you got that fill pipe in. Any water? I'm a little down at the bottom. It's two inches. Two Why inches. we wouldn't put the uh, water detecting paste actually on the first half inch? We did. We did. Because that's it's dirt. Full of, full of dirt. You see it through the paste. So we got dirt down the tank. Here. Okay. We continue uh, to clean. that an excavator doesn't do a thing for us right now. It sucks this is a thousand dollars. Nice job. Is it? Yeah. Watch out Mikey. Watch your face, Gemma. Mm I'll get that side too.
Push it right in the tank, though. We're getting here, kids. As soon as this dirt's completely cleared and not touching, I can begin to slide.
do it right there. So that gives me a good area to put my bucket in, clamp it, because then I can kind of lift up to scoop it out, but we'll see how it reacts once I start to tickle it a little bit. This is my area of concern, I don't know. The septic tank, which is concrete, may go about 12 inches and then straight down. And they poured this blob of concrete so it would lay against the tank and support the pipe where it went in while they backfilled so it didn't damage it so this is kind of adhered if that's the correct word to the tank so we kind of got it away a little bit with that little jackhammer that was awesome so we're just gonna have to see how this area reacts once I start to tickle the tank if this thing moves substantially when that's probably two inches we got to stop and go back to jackhammering that or cut the tank out right here and pull it and then try to peel the metal off the it's not a 13 minute job things can look one way but they're actually something else that's why they say don't judge a book by its cover is that what they say I don't know but we, I think we excavated 13 tons of soil to get to a tank that was showing. Amazing. Okay. You're gonna pull that tank? I'm cleaning it. You gotta get clean first. You, you're you familiar up. with the procedure? We have you gotta bring it over there. Come on now. No. You don't you bring it over there? No, not right now. <laughs> I don't like the Blake, Blake, break New York State policy. The harness oh i guess i do <laughs> all right all right apparently i dabble with breaking code somebody put the darn harness on mike is going in deep into the tank i don't even need this man but i can touch him mm. no you need the mask why because i'm gonna hear it he don't have the mask on. I'm not letting my crew leave. What's going on? <laughs> Remember the one with the uh, the preview? It should have been Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Michael did not need to be recovered. I did not need CPR. Looks good, right? Yeah, it's fine. I think so. All right, so get out. There's a couple of good spots, but we're gonna find out in a minute. Who says we're going to have no problems with this? Yeah? It's just right there I'm worried about.
Yeah, right here. Ah, oh, that's for me. Got a big, got a big hole right there. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. How about those uh, tank pulling skills? I don't hear. Do you hear one person say "nice job, Dad"? Watch. Look, he's on his phone. Not one person said "nice job, Dad." Hey, thank, thanks, Sam. Well, I expect that. From thanks. You, you know? That was a nice pull, right? Yeah. I expect that. From Mike, you. thanks. Well, you didn't say nothing. Oh wow! You missed it. Not one person said "nice job, Dad." Not one person. Nobody gives me credit, man. Yeah. That was amazing. <laughs> well, if you if you watch YouTube, you'll see it there. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it just took amazing skills, hand-eye coordination, good diet. I like it. I like yeah, it. everything. So, Tank Master Militia, what are you feeling on that? Feel free to comment. I mean, everything you do takes a skill, right, Craig? Why don't you participate in this? What are you watching? It's Quinn's birthday. Happy birthday, Quinn. Quinn who? Quintique. Oh. They're opening my present. On Happy video. birthday, Quinn. <laughs> okay. What do you need? I need some accolades. You're like the best there ever was. Right? It's I, all about the preparation unreal. here. Unreal. Yeah, it took a long time to do it, but you know you were going to succeed if you did all that work. You don't just grip it and rip it. Okay, folks, that's going to have to be the longest time lapse we've had. Took out these two, three, four, five big roots right here. That's where the tank was. We seeded this all for them. So that's it, folks. That's another 
fine job by Tank Bashers Environmental. We'll catch you tomorrow.